Anthony Albanese enjoyed one of the longest honeymoons in recent Australian history. Why? Because Australians believed that he was different. They thought that he was authentic and trustworthy. In one fell swoop, he has potentially destroyed his biggest asset here, integrity. For almost two years, he promised, assured, guaranteed and confirmed time and time again that he wouldn't touch stage three tax cuts. But now, it looks like he will. This is class warfare. This is the politics of envy on face value from the details we know so far. And it's the kind of gross politics that he actually promised to stamp out. Anthony Albanese will try to argue that his changes are fairer. I'm here to tell you that from what we know, at the moment, it looks like a crock. For a start, the poorest Australians those Labor will pretend this is for, get absolutely nothing. They get nothing because they pay zero income tax. So a tax cut doesn't help those that need it the most anyway. The Prime Minister is going to tell you, well, is telling you because of these changes, that if you live in Sydney, you work 12 hours a day to provide for your family, your wife doesn't work because she's bringing up children, 200k a year, apparently you're rich. You've been standing still but working harder for years because of inflation. Millennials, now the biggest voting bloc, get perhaps the biggest kick in the teeth. The government will take more of their money, do nothing about bracket creep, all the while they're trying to pay off overpriced houses that they bought in the last couple of years. And here's the kicker. Does this plan actually do anything substantial to bring down the cost of living or do anything for productivity?